I, we watched a movie because my husband and I, we like baseball. And, uh, and uh, th this is Moneyball. It's all Brad Pitt all, all day, every day. But anyway, uh, <laughs> one of the great lines in there is this 2002 Oakland A's uh, team is looking like they are a loser team this year, except they come up with a strategy, and that is to hire the undervalued, not the superstars, but hire the undervalued players who statistically were able to get on base. And the mantra of the team began that year was this, you get on base, we win. You don't, we lose. It was real simple. You don't have to be the superstar. You don't have to be the home run king. Just get on base and let us work with you. Well, that's kind of become a mantra for us as we've looked at, uh, at coaching pastors, uh, not looking to do the one thing that gets the game turned around, but doing lots of little things, playing a little bit of that small ball, you might say. Well, Ohio Ministries, where I, where I serve is in Ohio. That's why we get that Ohio Ministries from. In Ohio, we're Midwest. We're hardworking people. We believe in family, all those strong values. Uh, and, uh, and we're stable. We're also the, we're the, we're the folks that, have, that are confused with our economy because we were the industrial, we were the center hub of the industrial age. And then along comes the technology age. So you might say we bit the rust. You know, and uh, <laughs> that was bad, but anyway, <laughs> stay with me. But in Ohio, we have 216 churches in Ohio Ministries of the Church of God. And of those churches, uh, we have uh, the average attendance is 130. If you take out the outlier, uh, our mega church uh, that's in our district, then it really falls to 113. The average age of our church is 56. So you know in the life cycle, most of our churches are on the downside. The overwhelming, in fact, the overwhelming percentage of our churches, 85 plus percent, are plateaued or declining. So that's our situation. And on top of that, most of our pastors are in that, if you know the disc, they tend to be more in the S and C. And, and a lot of times people say that the best uh, turnaround are those that live in the I and D land. And yet... God keeps giving us the S and C folks, and so we, we're trying to learn to work with those folks because they are called of God. So how are we going to do that? One of the ways we try to do that is with the co with a coaching path, path in which we say coaching, uh, coaching is all about the base hits. So we coach for the base hits. Coaching is designed to help the pastor get to the next level. Uh, you know, there's something within me that just wants to have a home run. I would love to see a pastor come in and take a church of 25 and, and take it to 3,600. God bless you, Parnell. We, we honor that. But most of our pastors don't do that. vast majority can't do that. But if we can coach them from 35 to 50, if we can coach them from 75 to 100, if we can coach them from 250 to 300, then I think we're making progress. And that's really our goal. Not, not necessarily to reach for the sky, but just reach for the next base. So we, ca we coach for base hits. We coach with the idea that we need a variety of methods. Uh, no one way fits. 